I'm Jane Shikaitis. I'm the Senior Vice President for Aging and Community Services at Unity Health System. And in that job, my responsibilities include essentially working as a Chief Operating Officer for all of the programs and services that serve older adults. So it's three nursing homes, it's Transitional Care Center, um, it's home care services, a full range of home and community-based programs that include things like adult daycare and home delivered meals. So all services and programs to help older adults live safely wherever it is that is their home, but to have a, a quality life in whatever setting that they're, that they're living in. So that's my responsibilities. So as an MPA alum, what was your favorite thing about the program? The best part about the program, um, really f for me, was the ability to have practical learning that I could immediately implement in my workplace. So I, I went for my pro went to the uh, MPO program when I was working as a nurse manager. I'm a nurse by background. That's my um, undergraduate, and I was working as a nurse manager. And so I was as I was going to these classes, I was able to immediately take what I was learning and bring it right back into the workplace. So it became very real and practical um, and um, truly valuable because I was able to, um, to um, implement and experience what I was learning in the classroom. When you were at Brockport, is this what you thought you would end up doing with your degree? You know, when I was when I was going for my degree, I, as I was a relatively new manager, and I knew I wanted to advance my career. I wasn't sure exactly what that would be, but I loved the management piece of what um, of 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 my job. So I loved the new program development. I loved service um, creating new services and um, project management. So I knew I wanted to advance in in management or in administration. Healthcare as a nurse was really the field I wanted to stay in. I, d I did not know exactly where that would lead me, and as it turned out, I stayed in the same organization for my for the, for the entire time. I've been at, at Unity Health System for over 30 years, and I didn't necessarily say I want to be the Senior Vice President of Aging Services, but um, doors have opened up for me. I've made some decisions along the way about taking opportunities that were available, and um, and certainly, it's more than I ever expected I would achieve, but it's been a, it's been a great career. So, and, and the MPA program really helped me get there. So you just mentioned your career progression. How did you end up going from being a manager to all the way up the line to senior vice president? So th some of it is, is um, being in the right place at the right time and having the opportunities that are available. And that really was a blessing for me in my life that at, at points in my career when I was ready to say, I think I'm ready for the next step, doors were available to me that I could um, pursue. So some of it was just really, um, I, I, I I'd like to say good luck, but I think there's more to it than just luck, but just that, that there was just opportunities there. Um, but the other is really being um, um, intentional about being the best I could possibly be. So as a professional, I, I believe in a work ethic. I believe in working with integrity, um, doing the very best I can with everything that I do, having a positive influence on my workplace and, and being that positive force, um, doing what I say I'm going to do, so follow through, um, loyalty and dedication, um, and really caring about the output that I put that I'm responsible for. So, I believe uh, and take very seriously the work that I do. We're taking care of older people's lives. That's important, <laughs> um, and so the quality of what I do makes a difference. And so, being very, in, in, you know, I, I am a bit of a perfectionist. So, being very in tune with um, uh, doing things right, doing them well. Um, and 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 that gets you that gets you doors open for you so you can put yourself in the right position but if you don't do a good job work hard at doing a good job and doing following through and doing it the best you can when it's supposed to be done hit your deadlines um, then you're not going to have those doors you know really pan out so it's a combination what are some of the transferable skills you learned through the MPA program that help you get that you use in your job now so um, what was probably, I think, fundamental in any, it doesn't matter. Now, I, I did my MPA program 20 years ago, but to this day, it's still extremely um, valuable. And that is learning about organizational 
um, dynamics, organizational culture. Um, th that doesn't, I mean, the theory of that and understanding how people interrelate, understanding how organizations work, how culture is changed and forged, um, how um, theory of leadership, being a good leader, you have to have, I, I believe there are people who have innate skills to be leaders, but then there are parts of that that you really have to learn. And so learning those skills and um, those leadership processes and theories and um, all of that were extremely valuable if you truly want to advance in a leadership role. Um, leadership is is um, more than just management. It's so it's um, that's what I that's what I got out of the MPA program that was truly transferable. There were other lots of things things like around um, com computers were really just new and so learning and feeling comfortable with computers I've used throughout my career and thank goodness I had that background. Um, statistics and statistical theory, all of that have been extremely important things that have been I've been able to use. But more than anything, I think is the fundamental organizational behaviors and culture and, and leadership. That's great. Do you have any final words of wisdom or advice for current students who are looking to set themselves up for a great job, perhaps in the healthcare field? Absolutely. First, I think first of all. Um, if somebody's coming right out of school without any experience, you got to uh, recognizing that um, getting into administration or into management right out of the bat is going to be really tough. So knowing that you're going to have to pay your dues, and be, but go into whatever position you're, you you got as a st entry level, a starting level position, with the mindset that you're going to learn and grow, and be open to those learnings, even if it's something that you think you could, you you were, you know, you look up to the next person, next level up, and then I could do that job. Um, that's great, and maybe, and you will get there. But utilize where you are today to be the best you can, learn the most you can. Every, even the even the most basic positions you can learn from watching people around you, watching the culture, those kinds of things. Um, and the other thing I think is really important is to to um, well, work ethic and work integrity. Obviously, I, I mentioned that, but doing the right thing, always. Um, recognizing that whatever position you are, whatever decisions you have, or whatever job you're responsible for, to do the right thing every time, no matter what. Um, and, and that's my definition of, of working with integrity, and I think that takes you a long, long way in, in a career, is just to, to work with integrity. And then my final thing would be to, to, to find a mentor. Look for someone in your organization, or it doesn't even, if there isn't anybody in your organization, someone outside your organization, but somebody who you respect, who has had some success in their career in a way that you'd like to, to get to, and ask them to be your mentor. Don't be shy. I, I have been asked to be a mentor to people, and I find it very flattering. So people love, I think, most people, if they're worth having as a mentor, um, would love the opportunity to mentor somebody who's up and coming. Um, and so find somebody who you can learn from, and then um, and then do that. So meet with them regularly, and you know, use that networking, pick their brains, help them. Um, help them help you um, by by being a, a you know giving you advice and giving you some coaching. Um, so I think having a mentor is a really important a part of, of growth in a career. So that would be my advice. That's great advice, Jane. Definitely um, inspiring to hear that from somebody who's a leader in the Rochester community. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for um, inviting me.